well all of you everyone some more louder please yes now i can hear very good now i felt that all my little ones are very energetic active and smart do you know where did you get this energy from s yes, from the food children can you tell the name of some animals s yes, cow goat giraffe elephant oh very good children do you have pet animals in your home s yes, all of you have do you feed them s yes, good and do you care them s yes, very good we all have pet animals we all love them we care them and we feed them today we are going to learn chapter 1 what and how animals eat and in this chapter we will learn how animals eat the food and why do animals need food and what do animals eat now let's start are you ready yes children why do we need food yes we need food to grow and live then children can you tell why do animals need food yes animals need food to grow look at this picture you can see puppies and a dog do you like puppies yes when a puppy is born it is very small and it feeds on its mother's milk the mother's milk help the puppy to grow big and strong later it eats other types of food and grows into a dog similarly all the living things all the animals eat food to grow so why do animals need food animals need food to grow and animals need food to work and stay healthy and animals helps us in many ways for example oxen plow the field horses donkeys and elephant carry heavy load and they need energy and from where did they get this energy from the food and they also need energy to work and stay healthy so children why do animals need food animals need food to grow to work and stay healthy okay then please repeat after me why do animals need food animals need food to grow to work and stay healthy next we are going to learn what do animals eat different animals eat different types of food do all of them eat grass no some animals eat grass and some other animals eat flesh and why some others eat both the plants and flesh of other animals and based on the food they eat animals are classified into three categories the first one is herbivores second one is carnivores and the third one is omnivores so what is the first one herbivores second one carnivores and the third one is omnivores now let's study about what is herbivores children the word herb means plants and vores means eater what is herb herb means plants and vores means eater then can you tell what is herbivores yes plant eating animals some animals eat only plants or animals which obtain their food from plants or 
are called herbivores an animal that eats only plants are called herbivores children can you tell some examples of herbivores yes cow goat then giraffe now let's see some more examples yes cow goat elephant then deer and giraffe are some examples of herbivores what is herbivores plant eating animals okay now let us now we are going to learn what is carnivores children the word carp means meat and boards means eater then what is carnivores meat eating or flesh eating animals are called carnivores some animals eat only flesh of other animals they are called carnivores an animal that eats only the flesh of other animals are called carnivores animal can you say some examples yes lion and tiger very good lion then tiger crocodile and leopard are some examples of carnivores animals these animals have strong teeth to tear the flesh of other animal so what is carnivores animal animal that eat only the flesh of other animals okay now let's study what is omnivores animal children the word omni means all that include all the types of food plants and flesh of other animals and vores means eater then what is omnivores animal an animal that eat both plants and flesh of other animals are called omnivores animal then children can you tell some examples yes human beings okay now let's see some more examples humans crow bear are some examples of omnivores animal children let's summarize today's story today we learned that why do animals need food why do animals need food animals need food to grow to work and stay healthy based on the food they eat animals are classified into three categories first one is herbivores second one is carnivores and the third one is omnivores now children i will give you one an activity to do you should do it in your science notebook and the activity is classify the following animals into herbivores carnivores and omnivores lion giraffe crow bear deer tiger rabbit crocodile and cow i hope that all of you understood today's portion and let's continue this chapter in the next class okay see you again bye thank you